Hi, today I'm going to show you how to get smoother, more stabilized B-roll footage that you can all film on your phone. That way it lowers the barrier of entry to making better board game videos. You know, cameras are expensive and sometimes all we have is what's in our pocket. If you don't want to miss out on more photography and videography tips and tricks that you can use for every video, especially in the board gaming niche, please consider subscribing and check out the Patreon page linked down below. So real quickly before I get into the five tips, you need to understand one major concept and that is frame rates. So frame rates, like what you're looking at right now, this standard regular shooting, what you see with the naked eye, and you can kind of see that motion blur, that is filmed in 24 frames per second. So 24 FPS is the standard for filming video. And that's important because if you film higher than that, like let's say you film in 60 frames per second, that means that the camera is capturing more and more images every single second. Now that matters because if you were to take a clip that is filmed in 60 frames per second and put it into an editing program, if you were to slow it down to 24 frames per second, now your editing program has more and more frames for every single second of footage, which means your B-roll will become much, much smoother if you're filming in a high frame rate and bringing it down. And that principle is the key to understanding how to get smoother B-roll footage. So on your phone, doesn't matter what phone it is, but today obviously we're going to use the iPhone XS Max since that's the phone that I have. But on your phone, iPhone, Android, whatever phone you have, open up the camera app and switch over to slow motion. So get this, your phone, can film in 240 frames per second. Let me say that again, 240 FPS. That is double the frame rate of my professional grade camera, the Canon 1DX over here. That is quadruple the frame rate of an entry level camera like the Canon 80D, which is my backup camera. So knowing that, don't underestimate the tool that we have in our pocket. This is insane. Like technology nowadays, 240 FPS in your pocket, freaking mind blowing. So when you put the camera app in slow motion, it's going to film in 240 frames per second. So if you're trying to get really smooth B-roll, it's always easier to film in slow motion and then speeding it up versus filming in 24 frames per second and speeding it up. You're gonna get really jittery footage if you do that. So tip number one is to film in slow motion mode, or you can always go to 4K 60 and then slow that down to 24 frames per second as well. Now, tip number two, you can put your phone on a smooth table so you can glide your phone across the surface with your hand or you can also put a paper towel or like a regular towel underneath. So when you're trying to record video like this and you're going forward and backward, it's going to introduce a ton of movement. You eliminate a lot of that when you put it on a smooth surface and just slide it across. However, we always like to introduce variety in our shots and not all of our shots are going to be filmed at this perspective here. So tip number two is to tuck in your arms and make sure that you are one with your camera. So what do I mean by that? Well, for one, you don't want to film like this because when you're extending your arm like this, there's a lot of movement and a lot of instability that you're introducing in the camera. Instead, to eliminate that, you want to tuck your arms real tight and then as you move, your entire body moves as well. So you're kind of like hunched over. So when you move forward to back, left to right, you're moving your entire body like this, not hula hooping motion or like forward motion like that or lazy sloppy motion like that you want to make sure that you're trying your best to move your entire body and make it as smooth as possible and you notice a difference right away when you're recording like this versus when you're recording like this and just moving and walking physically forward actually i take that back you don't even walk you're firmly planted on the ground and again you are moving your body shifting it from side to side so here aside from me smacking my light bulb i'm also shifting my legs from left to right, not taking any kind of steps. You wanna make sure that you are one solid motion. Now tip number three is to shift your fingers just like this. So when you're panning across and shifting your phone like this, it gives your footage way more depth, especially when doing board game shots, they're all products, right? So therefore it's very likely that you don't want to see just the front of the product, but 180, almost 360 actually, a 360 degree view of the game. So shifting your fingers like this allows you to get more stabilized shots that pan around the board game components. Now tip number four is probably the most go-to method and that is to of course use a tripod. Now I particularly like this combo because the tripod is actually a ball head, which lets you rotate it and it's pretty flexible and the phone mount lets you mount it in both the horizontal and the vertical direction. Now both of these are linked down below in case you're interested. But just because your phone is on a tripod, it doesn't mean things don't have to move. So what happens when your phone is on a tripod? Both hands are completely free. So now you gain full control to move the box around. You can shift it while doing a revealing shot, pretty much anything you want. You can use light to transition now from your B-roll sequence since your phone is now stationary. And on top of that, you can even use a turntable to get the movement you want as well. 
Now this turntable has been my go-to to introduce camera movement in a ton of my videos. So if you are interested in that, that is also linked down below. And finally, probably the most exciting tip that I have for you today, tip number five is exclusive to us. To us board gamers, this one's for you. So this works better if you have a pop socket or you can also take the case off your phone, whatever works for you. And you're going to put your phone on top of the box. So now one side of it can be that foreground movement that I always talk about. Here's a link to that video up here. And the other side can be your subject, which will be the minis, the dice, whatever you're filming and whatever your subject is. That can be on the left side or vice versa. Then you're gonna slide your phone off the top of the box just like this. And here are a couple other ways that you can slide it as well. So now if you think about it, the possibilities are endless. Now here's a pro tip. If you tap on your subject and you just hold it there, it's going to lock focus. And that's better because now your camera's not gonna zoom in and zoom out and you're not gonna go in and out of focus. So there are a lot of things you can do with tip number five. You can slide it with normal speed, slow it down in the middle and then speed it up again. It doesn't have to be in slow motion because the footage will be stable from how you're moving your phone. Now you can twist it as you move it across the surface so then it goes black and then boom, now you have a transition point. So filming in slow motion, sliding your phone across the table, shifting your fingers back and forth but remembering to tuck in your arms. Number four, using a tripod but even if your phone is stationary, that means you're going to introduce more movement with both of your hands or with the turntable or any other type of movement that you want to introduce. And number five, just sliding across the top of the box or any variant of that. That works particularly well because you have dual cameras. So then the right side is gonna pick up that foreground and left side is gonna pick up your subject or vice versa. So with that, I hope you found all five tips helpful. Comment down below which one was your favorite one and which one that you're planning to use. Remember, don't underestimate these little devices that we have here. And with that, thank you all so much for watching the video and I will see you all in the next one.